All right, many of those women have pets, by the way. And if you've been thinking about adopting a pet, now might be a really good time to do it. The animal welfare organization Best Friends is a Get, putting on a warning yeah. about a national animal shelter crisis. Last year, they discovered that there were 100,000 more pets in shelters across the country. And as Scarlett Lizjack reports, that increase is continuing to be felt right here in New Mexico. Pets are rolling into the shelter, but not as many are leaving. If we can keep adoptions going, um, we would be okay, but we're getting one adoption a day, two adoptions a day, when we need like five adoptions a day in order to keep pace with what's coming in. Stacy Voss is the animal welfare director at Farmington Regional Animal Shelter. She says there is no straightforward answer to why less people are adopting. I'm gonna guess it's just economy and life. A lot of people are just not adopting larger adult dogs for some reason, and I'm not sure why. Um, but those dogs are staying here longer and longer and taking up more space. Now, the shelter has reached capacity. Law says usually they'd get some help, but times have changed. Since this is a nationwide problem with shelters across the country, we're, we usually transfer animals out to other areas that have higher adoption rates and not as many animals, and we haven't been able to do that because our transfer partners are full too. And to make matters worse, more animals are expected to come. Kitten season has started early this year. We're already seeing a lot of pregnant and in heat cats. Um, we have our mo first mom and babies already coming in and we have some young kittens coming in. So normally we don't see that till about another month or so, but March we usually see a huge spike in the number of dogs that come in because of the warm weather. So we're really facing some difficult decisions and some hard times if we can't get some um, dogs adopted. Boss says the best thing you can do is to head to the shelter to adopt, but volunteering or fostering also helps. Scarlett Liz Jack, KOB4.